Welcome back to Club Omega, your online CXC math tutor. In lesson 1 of inequations and linear programming, we looked at how to define boundaries and how to identify the region of interest as defined by the inequation. I would strongly recommend that you review lesson 1 before you continue with this particular example. Much of what we did in lesson 1 will be applied directly in this example. Okay, linear programming is simply testing that at the CSEC level students are able to write simple equations given a set of conditions. They are also expected to be able to represent these inequations on a graph. They are supposed to be able to shade the common region that represents the solution to all the inequations and from that common region identify a particular x and y value which maximizes or minimizes a certain result and of course be able to use that particular maximum solution to determine the maximum value whether it be profit or area etc. In this example a company that makes pizzas must decide how many small pizzas and large pizzas to make given a set of constraints. The first condition that the company has to recognize is that its oven can hold no more than 20 pizzas. So the first thing that we need to do is to define the number of small pizzas to be equal to x and unknown and the number of large pizzas to be y another unknown. Now because of the constraint of no more than which is the same as less than or equal to we can write an inequation immediately which says the total number of pizzas made must be less than or equal to 20 and of course if the number of small pizzas is x and the number of large pizzas y then our first equation is x plus y must be less than or equal to 20. The other constraint for the company is that it knows beforehand that the cost of the ingredients to make a small pizza is $15 and the cost of the ingredients to make a large pizza is $30. Now the company only has $450 available to buy ingredients. So it is easy to set up another equation which says $15 times the number of small pizzas plus $30 times the number of large pizzas must be less than or equal to all the money that the company has to buy ingredients. So the equation 15x plus 30y is less than or equal to 450 is merely describing the constraint of only having $450 available to spend on ingredients for pizza. So 15 plus 30y is less than or equal to 450 is our second equation. Now if you notice we can divide equate that equation by 15, simplify that equation, divide through by 15 so we would get the equation becomes x plus 2y is less than or equal to 30. Okay, our next task is now to graph all these inequations on the same graph and find the common region. Um, notice that we have been given two additional equations, equations 1 and 2, which says that x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. This is merely telling us, as we outlined in lesson 1, that our region of interest is in the first quadrant um, because x greater than or equal to 0 is merely saying that x should be positive and y greater than or equal to 0 is saying that y should have a positive value also so we are, we are constrained to operate within the first quadrant on our graph graph number three we go ahead and graph the straight line which represents the boundary for that inequation and as we did in lesson one we determine the two points um, along the x and y axes and we draw a straight line connecting those two points. 
that line is going to represent the boundary of equation number three and of course the solution set which is where x plus y is less than or equal to 20 will be found below that line lesson one like i said outlines all of this in detail so please review lesson one if you are not sure you're understanding um, what is happening at, from this point going forward um in equation number four is also drawn in a similar way we identify the two points on the x and y axis through which a line should be drawn and we connect the two points to give the boundary of the in equation x plus 2y is less than or equal to 30. Of course, the less than or equal to sign again tells us that the solution set is below the line. From this, from these four equations, we can see a clear overlapping of the region that is shown in the shown shaded here. Our next task is to determine the maximum profit that the company can make and that will depend on how many small or large pizzas the company makes the question goes ahead to tell you that the company will make a profit of eight dollars on a small pizza and twenty dollars on a large pizza so the profit equation as shown here describes that particular equation um, what we need to recognize now is that the maximum profit is normally found at one of the vertices of this this particular quadrilateral uh, so at vertex a the coordinates which are 0 and 15 we've identified that on our on our shaded portion or on our common region and we also have another vertex b which which is indicating that we're making 10 small and 10 large pieces and at vertex c it's indicating that another possibility is to make 20 small and no large pieces so all we need to do is to plug these particular x y coordinates in the profit equation to see which will yield the largest amount of profit so for vertex A, we plug 0 and 15 in the equation and we see that a profit that we, we, we would obtain if we made no small, about 15 large pizzas would be $300. At vertex B, if we made 10 large and 10 small pizzas, we would make a profit of 280 And at C, 20 small and no large pizzas would yield a profit of $160. Clearly we can see that the maximum profit is obtained at vertex A, suggesting that the company should confine itself to making only large pizzas for these particular constraints. Um, this is typically how this problem is done. Um, it is not a difficult problem. Like I'm saying, please review lesson one in order to be able to move smoothly through drawing the graphs, understanding the regions, and understanding the boundaries. We also have a graphs workbook online and in Club Omega where you can get much more details on graphing and the solution to linear inequations.